Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to yet another episode of the Ugly Money Podcast. I am your host, Ugly Money Nietzsche, and my special guest of the evening, Alabama's own entrepreneur, artist, businessmen and women. We're talking about black ownership here, ladies and gentlemen. Show your love one time for Queen K and GMO. Shout it. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, gang? What's that name? All right, Queen, we're going to start with you. Who was Queen K before Queen K was Queen K? Mm. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I was still Queen K. Okay. Just evolving, evolving. Yeah, running the streets, trapping, having fun. Trapping and having fun. Yeah, doing hair, making money. Make it what it do hell. Uh, I, I see you got some, uh, you, 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 you have some very festive uh, 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 horns up there. I got can my you, demon horns. Yeah, can you, can, can, you, can, you, can, you, uh, can you give us some more, uh, expound on the outfit? Well, I got to pop my shit, you know what I'm saying? I represent goat season because I'm the motherfucking goat bad. <laughs> and that shit, I understand that shit. I'm the motherfucking goat, nigga. Anyway. I'm the goat. I'm nah, the goat, think he the goat, but I'm the goat. Oh, you the goat. I'm the motherfucking uh, goat. I yeah. don't want no smoke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's take it. Let's take it back. Let's take it back, uh, Queen, to uh, Birmingham. Growing up, what, what what was it like? Are you from like from Birmingham or um, outside of Alabasta? Well, I'm originally from Jersey. Okay. Uh, but I, I grew up in Tuscaloosa, actually. Tuscaloosa. Yeah. Shouts out Tuscaloosa. So I've been running Tuscaloosa streets. So I, you like roll tight? Yeah, roll motherfucking tight. <clears throat> Uh uh-uh, uh, don't do that. Don't motherfucker do that. Roll <laughs> tag. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh no. So talk to me about growing up in Tuscaloosa. Um, it, it was it was straight. You know, I um, I did a lot of shit. Hung with a lot of people. Had fun. Got a lot of haters in that motherfucker too. You know, um, them streets kind of a little rough. Don't nobody want to see you make it for real. Mm. So you got to leave about it in to make it because everybody want to compete and not support. Well, you know, um. That's small town America all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Right, it's, right. it's a lot of situations. I come from a small town. A lot of us come from smaller cities, right. and it seems like by the consensus that that is what people say is like, you know, it's it's it's, it's hard to get out. Yeah. How how did you get out? Um, I actually got big because of my manager right here. Gang gang. Gmo, you know what I'm saying? He paved the way for me. So before the end, I was dealing with people who was trying to pave the way, but. It wasn't even, it was either they didn't know what they was doing or they was trying to snatch me in the process. And me, I'm about business. Mm-hmm. I ain't got time for all that other shit. You Fact. know what I'm saying? Unless I wanted it and I didn't want it. So, you know, I had to get with somebody who was about the business over everything. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And so, uh, so basically you, you built a good team. Yeah. And that's what, that's what got you. Yeah. Salute, salute. Now, GMO, I know you over there. <clears throat> <laughs> and you know, you know, uh, I've had I've had multiple great conversations with you, oh, and yeah, I, yeah. I, I, and I, uh, you know, I'm proud to say that you are a very intelligent young man. Appreciate that, man. You appreciate that a lot for sure. Uh, let let let's talk about your upbringing coming up and things of that nature. How did you become GMO? Oh man, uh, my upbringing was kind of crazy. You know, uh, mom and dad they big in the church, so you know, definitely going to church every Sunday. Uh, I kind of you know had. I can't say the wrong crowd, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I had a group of friends, you know what I'm saying, that we stayed into a lot of trouble, mm. you know what I'm saying? So with that, you know what I'm saying, kind of street life. So, you know what I'm saying, on top of that, man, uh, just grinding, just the, the hunger to be successful out of everything that I was seeing and mm-hmm. where I was from. And just not having nothing that want something, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, yeah, that's that's basically where that came from, man. Get money over everything, you know what I'm saying, GMO. No, you originally out of Tuscaloosa as well? Uh, I'm from Sumter County, you know what I'm saying? Bellum, Alabama, a smaller okay. town in Alabama. Uh, population probably like 1,500 people. Wow. You know what I'm real small. I'm from, a sim- I'm, I'm from a similar setting. Yeah. So so coming coming from such humble beginnings, where do you get the mentality to be more and to be bigger? I mean, uh, it's just seeing it. Like, I see it. I, I feel like it's, it's who I am, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh I just got to get it, you know. It, it motivates me every day seeing people like you, you know what I'm saying, and your yes, success, sir. you know what I'm saying. So salute to you, uh, you know, and I just feel like that's the type of person that I am, you know, so. Yeah, no facts, man. You know, coming out of those small, <clears throat> I'm from a city with no stoplights. 
It ain't no. It's a, it's, a, it's a stop sign with blinking lights on it. Yeah, we ain't even got that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't got no major food. No ain't no McDonald's. Life. No McDonald's. Look, look, look. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a stop sign with, with blinking got, lights on it. It's so segregated we, that, like, it's a white folks on yes. store that's right by the uh, interstate. Yeah. And it's a uh, black folks on store that's in the hood. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, and you know, in some of them small towns, you will get a lot of, you will, you will see the town be segregated because I know where I'm from, like, it's like 40 highway. It's, it's yeah. like Route 1. And then it's like you on the like other it. side, it's the white side. Yeah. And on the other side, it's the black side. It's like <laughs> the, the brick house is over here. The system where I'm from is still segregated. Like wow. you got a black high school and a white high school to this day. You know what I'm saying? Wow. That's how segregated it is. So. To, to have the intestinal fortitude to want more out of life is something that I can definitely salute. You know, me coming from the same kind of kind of humble beginnings. Like you, you have to have an amazing imagination coming from a town mm -hmm. that's small. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, yeah. there are no bright lights. There are no, right. there are no, you know, labels. There are no more mark. Than, more than anything, that's what I had. Like I said, just wanting it and imagining it. You know what I'm saying? And manifesting it really into this day. So yes, know. sir. Um, what keeps you going, man? What keeps you pushing through? Um, to to be honest, my family, man. You know, uh, shout out to them, YWA. That's my family. You know, Queen K. Yeah. Uh, ugly money, you know yes, what I'm saying, up to the date. So, like I said, man, everybody that's motivated, pushing, and my kids, you know, uh, just my kids are so into music. And man, them kids will like, put a whole nother battery crazy. in your back, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I really got to go and do it because I know they're going to want to do it. Yes, you sir. Know? So. Now, Queen, okay. now I've had an opportunity to talk to you as well, and you seem a very cool, calm, collected, sweet you know, when I'm around you. But when you get a mic in your hand, mm. <laughs> tell me the transition of having a regular conversation with Queen K and then when Queen K hits that stage. I'm bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a step into another mode, you know? It's like when I'm when I'm in front of a mic, I'm in my element, I'm showing my craft, I'm being who I want to be and ain't got to give a fuck about what nobody say mm. in that moment because y'all got to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But when I'm on a regular basis, I'm just humble because I just want to evaluate what's around me, listen, hear, learn. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me. I'm quiet when I need to be quiet. Yes, ma'am. And I talk when I need to talk. Come on, man. Come on, yeah. man. How'd you get into doing hell? Let's talk about that. Let's talk Ooh. about some cosmic, what is it called? Not cosmopology. Um, <laughs> cosmetology. <laughs> cosmetology. Well, I mean, I don't know. I always wanted to get into beauty. Like, to be honest, in my family, hair ain't even nothing. We got politicians mm. and managers and doctors and uh, fighters and stuff in my family. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, the hair just came to me. Like, I don't know. I just picked up a comb one I day. When I first met Queen, she was doing hair, but she yeah. wasn't doing it like she's doing it now. Like, right. she's the queen of rap and the queen of hair right, right. now. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of another thing that I pushed her. You know what I'm saying? Like her music, yeah. when I met her, she was so talented. You know? Yes, sir. Like I pushed her, you know, like Definitely. she getting so much money off of doing hair, making wigs, makeup, like the whole line, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Real trap shit. So, 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 cause, cause, you know, the hair business is something that I have always uh, had thoughts about getting into. Not me per yeah. se, but you may be owning a right, salon right. or something. Like, how do you deal with customers that, Ain't never happy. To be honest, I, I rarely, and if people can quote me that's watching right now, I rarely have unhappy clients. You Come know, on. I've been doing hair professionally licensed for like five years, and probably on two hands, I might have had 10 unhappy clients. Wow. And I literally have a lot of clients, you know what I'm saying? Like, my hands is a gift, not only my voice, my hands. Like, these are million dollar hands, Come whether on. you know it or not. Like, Come I done on. touched some millions with these hands. Yes, ma'am. So, you know. It's a different ball game than music. Like you got to deal with a lot when you're doing hair. So it just take patience and patience. The love for it. Yeah, that's what I ain't got right there. <laughs> I'd been telling the motherfucker, you don't like that motherfucker, deal with it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm maybe weak. I maybe I need to hold off on that business or whatever. Customer service is real though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially running a business or whatever. I mean, think about Chick Fil A. You know what I mean? Chick-fil-A is not the most amazing food in the world, but you right. feel good. But they always happy when you come through that and line. They, and, and they, they give you your sauces. And, your, and they give you I your napkins. I ain't never had to drive back Come on. You know what I'm saying? So custom Chick-fil-A make you feel happy to, that yeah. you spent their money, you, your yeah. money with them. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like Chick-fil-A can always get nine dollars out of me. I'm too. You know what I'm saying? So customer service is definitely something that's big, especially in business. Right. And us being black owned business owners, you know definitely, what I'm saying? Definitely. Have you ever had a time, GMO? How do you deal with customers as far as giving them the utmost customer service and bringing them back and having these return clients that you do? Uh, for the most part, I got a strong customer service background. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, majority of the jobs that I've had, uh, Walmart, Sam's Club, uh, Direct TV over the phone. Yeah. You know, I've, I've kind of specialized in customer service. Yes, sir. Uh, my first job at Direct TV, I was I was promoted to uh, a trainer. Okay. To train people how to do customer service. Come on, man. So, uh, with that, you know, it, it takes patience, like she said. Yeah, and, yeah. And having that knowledge, you know what I'm saying, like, that's, that's another thing that kind of molded me as a person, like, those customer service jobs. Yes, sir. You yeah. know? I, I, had, I still learn. Yeah. I'm still learning because, you know, at least twice a week I tell a nigga to kiss my ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm still got, learning. I'm yeah. still learning. God ain't done with me yet. Yeah, you you got, used to work at Walmart, bro. I worked at, bro. <laughs> I worked at Walmart distribution for two, three weeks. Walmart worked the living shit out of me. Man, I had it so made. <laughs> I had it so made. I ain't gonna even talk about how made. Yeah, I made at Walmart, right? Yeah. Don't made. give away the cheat code. Okay, don't you know give away the cheat code. Yeah, but I used to work in the warehouse, so we used oh, to yeah. have the orders, right? Nah, I was in the store. So I was doing the orders or whatever. You know, I'm young back then. I'm 18, 19 or whatever, right? And like back then, Walmart. Be, this thing about Walmart. Walmart used to pay. Mm -hmm. They used to play us good. Yeah. I'm over here moving the boxes. You know, I'm moving the boxes kind of slow, but I ain't, I ain't trying to do it too fast. I ain't try, I'm just trying to keep steady. This an old white lady. She about 60 years old, boy, over there booking them boxes, right? Making me look bad. I'm looking at the lady like, God damn, like, yo, chill out. You know what I mean? You making us look bad. And yeah. everybody, everybody, like, Susan always does that, you know? If you, if, if, and then, like, I remember my supervisor coming and telling me, like, if Susan... Do more orders, fill more orders than you. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad thing. But yeah. you know what, though? Susan probably been doing that her whole life. <laughs> Man, listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, she don't know nothing but slanging them boxes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, facts, man. Yeah, so now, so let, let, let's let's get into some music. Queen, um, the GOAT. Bad. Yeah. The, insp <laughs> the, goat. the GOAT. The inspiration behind that song, how'd you come up with that record and how, 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 how'd it come out? Man. You want to tell I mean, either way, like I said, uh, we were really just in the studio vibing. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Lope, you know what I'm saying? Lope had pre-sent us a beat, mm. you know what I'm saying? And me, like, with music, you know what I'm saying? I'm always, we're going to say what the beat say. So we actually vibed out, uh, came up with the hoop, you know what I'm saying? And just slid just on ran it, for real. Like, me and her really hardly get the vibe out in the studio together, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because we be working, Trevor, doing all different little, you right. know what I'm saying, subjects. So. But uh, we was actually in the studio. That was our first, not our first one, because when we first linked up, mm. you know what I'm saying, we did that uh, that song, Say You Ready. Yeah, you know in the saying? studio together, yeah. Uh, and we kind of been. Because I'm usually like the type of person that like to write my lyrics before we go in the studio. Okay. Oh, you one of those? Yeah, okay. so you can't hear it till I get on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So he been trying to pull me up out my element, and I okay. be trying to do a little different things, you know what I'm saying? But uh -huh. yeah, I can write some lyrics in 10 minutes, and I'm okay. ready. Let's go. Right. Yeah, I'm more yeah. out the head in the studio. Yeah. Um, I do I do a lot of uh, rough drafts, you know what I'm saying? So I got a lot of music I already done, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I come out in the studio, go out of head. Just take, catch a vibe, just mm -hmm. go with it. Mm -hmm. how, how hard is it to 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 manage? Because you both of you guys are, are, are owners of your own prospective businesses. How hard is it to manage business and personal? How does that look? I need help with that. I'm going to let her answer. I want to see what <laughs> she Give me some game, say. Queen. What I need it. We both go answer. To be honest, for me... It's like here tell you I put business before a lot of things that okay. I shouldn't, okay. that I shouldn't. You but I'm really I was. Sound that. like me. I was. That, that true though. That's true. I was <laughs> built. My family taught us business over anything. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Love was in the picture and stuff, but it was business. And when it come to us, it's like I don't know. I just separated two in a lot of situations. You know what I'm saying? I just know how to just go with stuff, this and that and that. And then it's times where I just had my moments where I have an emotional moment because I'm mm. really not an emotional mm -hmm. person. Damn, so I just like kind of separated. So it's more easier for me. To separate them. Yeah, because so I'll be like, fuck all that, man. Let's do the business. So literally, literally, you could be at work during the daytime and then when you get in that car and leave that, leave, you know, your business and you go home, 
clean slate. If y'all got, you know what I'm saying? If his Some, ass. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes, <laughs> Are you still on it? Sometimes. <laughs> now. It's time. Are you still on his ass with it? Sometimes. Like, I you, know you, you know you fucked up that order, nigga. <laughs> I'm still at home sometimes and it still works. Sometimes he got to tell me to put my phone down. I got to tell him that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm asleep, but I've been adjusting, you know That's what I'm saying? Happened. Managing that shit because I got to do what I got to do. I think it's important for us, especially owners, like we have to find balance. Yeah, we have to. That's something that I that I still still work on today. It's yeah. just fine because when, you know, a lot of us, we're first generation owners. We're first yeah. generation business owners. We we are the people that are kicking this off as right. far as, you know, in our, gen, in our quest to create generational wealth. Right. So we got to... Get up, you know. We, f I think, a lot of us feel like we gotta get it. We gotta make it happen while we still can yeah. for the next generation. But in the essence of doing that, you might work yourself to death, literally. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I, I, I had to check myself yesterday, Sunday. I was literally at the office from 12 noon to 3 a.m. and it was Sunday. I'm supposed yeah, to be off. Yeah, man, and I'm that's like, that's how it be. Like, sometimes you gotta sit down a little bit. But sometimes that money be calling. Come on, man. It be calling and the same shit with the music. Like I'm trying to be just as booked, so I won't be doing hair as much. And I'm on the road because I look. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to have my own shit while I'm running these streets. Have people running my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the passion for the hair, but the music, like it got to be first. No, I feel. You. I feel. You. And that's what we doing right I now. I think. I think the 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 gold at the end of the rainbow as far as music is is tremendous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. One record could change your life for yeah. the rest of your life, and your kids could eat off and live definitely, off that more. Definitely, you know what I'm saying. Long as you got social media, it's no reason why you shouldn't be getting a chick, because that shit can keep evolving, keep on. You know what I'm saying? Like so, so GMO, GMO. I want to talk to you about the music business, because uh, I, I see you're well versed in it. If I'm an independent artist, and I'm trying to go up, and I'm trying, you know, I, I, I what I have is talent. How do I move my talent? How do you move it? Yeah, how do I move it? How do I go up? I'm, I'm, hey, bro, I'm trying to get signed, bro. I mean, uh, in today's uh, music industry, I mean, it's kind of like I said on social media. You know, you got to uh, you gotta have content, whether that be, you know, media content, uh, the music content itself, uh, video content as far as, like, YouTube stuff. Like, you got to be able to produce that content. You got to be able to produce music. Something that's going to sell, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You got to be a person that's, you know what I'm saying, just very mindful and, you know what I'm saying, of the business yes, itself. Sir. So study the business, you know, uh, just what it takes to be successful in anything. Like it take that, it take all of that same stuff, yes, like mastering that, whatever craft it is, whether it's business, whether it's music, you know, like having the right team of people around you, attracting those people, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's it's kind of just a formula. It's like a soup. Like you got to yes, have the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got the whole thing, it ain't going to work. Yes, right. sir. You need you know, some salt gonna, in that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. right. You know yes, sir. It ain't going to be, Seasoning you know what I'm saying, what did you soup without everything that's in Campbell what, soup. What did you see in Queen K that made you want to be a part of her campaign and, and work well? So um, basically like how me and Queen met, uh, she was judging the competition that I was in. Uh, I had first. I, that was when I first started my my uh, late my management company, okay. uh, YNWA. I was working with a group of guys. It was four of us. We were really like you know what I'm saying going hard back then. Mm -hmm. Like we wanted to be like the the new NWA. That's Come where on. my name came mm. from. You know Come what I'm on. saying. So basically, uh, we went to a showcase. She was judging the showcase. With that, uh, we came. We killed the show. You know, so I was one of our first shows performing together. We killed that shit. Wow. She was like, uh, we didn't win, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I knew we were supposed to win, but yeah. you know, I always feel like that because, you know, I feel like I'm prepared for it. That we, is. Right. we did what we're supposed to do. But they I actually there, did win, though, because, yeah, like, she, everybody had the same amount of votes that they was top because it was me and, like, three other yeah, people. Yeah, she, she okay. called me the next day. She was like, y'all supposed to have been won, basically, and they gave it to this dude because they was some kin to him. You know what I'm wow. saying? Yeah. And, uh, That's how it be going. And, and basically, like, I ain't judging over there no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and, so, and what so, attracted so. me to her was her realness. Yeah, her. yeah. You know, it's like, that's some real shit. Who the fuck do shit like that? So, yeah. so in essence, Queen KG Mo got in on some business. Yeah. And then he worked his move with yeah. slick ass nigga, man. <laughs> hey man, I hope y'all taking notes, man. I hope y'all taking notes. So, so like, so like, cause that I, I want to know yeah, about that story. Yeah. Like, how how did you know, this 
come to play to the point of it like, you know. That. It ain't even uh, that. It's more so like I'm attracted to real. You know come what I'm on. saying? It's a real woman, man. Like I was in a relationship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say, man. So, <laughs> hey. say we can talk shit. about let's say get that pay, shit. Let's Look. get paid. Yeah, say that uh, nah, shit. You know, like I said, uh, <laughs> she was a real one too, but at the same time, you know, uh, it was just some of the things, you know what I'm saying, that I was going through. She kind of, Queen was just always just uh, kept it real, just like she did from day one mm -hmm. with that, you know what I'm saying? And that, that really, like, you attract the people that you need around you, you know what I'm saying? Right. We attracted each other. Like, she'll tell you, when we first met, like, we always used to be like, we were thugging so hard both for her. Like, <laughs> I know we supposed to be together, but I don't even want to be in a right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? No like, cap. No cap. <laughs> no cap. What, Queen, what, what made you finally get to the point where it's like, okay, I, I need to, you know, we need to make some, we need to make some shake with Gmo. I literally was sitting in the house with my cousins and we was on Facebook and this nigga was live at a barbecue. <laughs> and my homegirl said, girl, he fine. Why you won't, why you won't kick it with him? And I looked, I said, mm, he is kind of fine on this Facebook. <laughs> so I went on and hit him up and went from there. Like I was bullshitting at first. So why? that that probably why he went back to his little girl yeah, friend. Yeah, shit. I, you know, I don't understand why do I, do women do that purposely like the whole I just, I cat just, and mouse game. Yeah, yeah somewhat, but then at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I was I was dealing with my own little shit, you know what I'm saying? And evolving from life changes and stuff mm. in the past year. So I was like, whatever, you know. And then I told him like I just knew that we was supposed to be a thing, but I wasn't trying to hit that shit. And a couple <laughs> weeks later it was just like boom. Let you do it, but he still had his little hoes and shit. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I was a sad bitch for a Sometimes long time. Sometimes guys didn't know it. <laughs> didn't motherfucking know it. Didn't know it. Didn't know shit. I got a question. I have these conversations quite often. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> honesty. Women always say that they want honesty. Yeah. Just don't lie to me. Yeah. Okay. Now, if a man is honest with you. And in essence, if it, with if for instance, if Gmo was honest with you from the beginning, hey, I like you, but I got hoes. Would you have given him the time of day? Yeah, because I like hoes too. <laughs> we fuck hoes together. <laughs> we fuck hoes oh, together. Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. So, 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 so in essence, what I what I'm trying to figure <laughs> out is because a lot of the times, men and I'm not men. I'm not. I, 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 ladies, I'm not uh, uh, giving the men a, a, a cop out. A lot of men are scared to be honest because they they fear that the the real or honest them is not going to be uh, go over well with the woman. I mean, some men feel like that, but with me, I'm a different type of woman. I want to know if you did some shit. I want to know. I don't mm. give a fuck because at the end of the day, I'm not finna break up with you or anything because people it, make mistakes. But it, we so it's real. It's crazy. It's crazy because you know what I'm saying. Like say, I should let her finish saying that. Yeah. We we so real that it's like everything go down together. Like we uh, literally right. been thugging together. Like you want to fuck a bitch, let do it. Oh, I want this hoe. He go get her. That's the type of shit we yeah. on. Like uh, we, real we kinda shit. Kinda like Free just, game alert. <laughs> we kind of do keep it real. But I ain't gonna lie. I learned that, you know what yeah. I'm saying, with a woman for real, like, I used to be a compulsive liar. You know Come on, talk saying? about it, bro. Woo. I used to be a compulsive liar. We all been there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, we all been there. I did, though. I wanted to change, you know what I'm saying, because I felt like, for one, like, I don't feel like I got a lot of nobody. Yes, sir. You know I got a lot, right. a lot to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. You know, that's why a lot of my ex-girlfriend didn't like me. Uh, liked them and still fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? But then, like, uh, you yes, gotta sir. be careful with that shit, too, yeah. now. Yes, sir. You gotta yeah. know who you fucking with. And like I said, if they, if they ain't real, like, they don't deserve the real. You don't need to be fucking with them. You know what, what makes saying? a man finally stop lying and become truthful? I mean, shit, it, some of them don't. And <laughs> 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 their granddaddy still lying. Yeah, I know some old <laughs> niggas still old lying now. So, <laughs> it just gotta be in you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, if you real, then, then I feel like when you get with that person that's on the same shit as you, you ain't got a lot. Like, I know when he done did something. Mm -hmm. And I say something. Yeah, and and <laughs> that's, why, that's why I stopped lying, because I used to like, like I know motherfuckers. Like, 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 our souls are attached. Like, you can't wow. do shit and I don't feel it. Come or on. understand it. You know what I'm saying? That mm. women intuition, it really be like the earth telling me, like, you need to check something before it get out of hand. So you could tell me now for that whole come to me. Y'all be right. But y'all be wrong at the same time sometimes. We we do, but I ain't never been wrong. And it's rare mm -hmm. that I have to correct him about some shit. Damn, boy, she on your ass. <laughs> That's like, he, he, he don't do shit, but he yeah. did something before. You know That's what I'm saying? Now, I, you, know, you, know, you know, the thing I like about it, I, I like the fact that, that you all were able to grow. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I think that's important. Like no relationship just starts off amazing. Hell no relationship nah. no no relationship is ever perfect and no relationship doesn't go with its, you know, with it, with its problems, but you know, you have to find a way right, to keep right. going and find a way to right. figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like if if you guys if you are all are disagreeing on something, how do you get back to love? Shit, it really be him trying to bounce me back because I hold grudges. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. I ain't gonna let this shit go. Holla at me tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe next week, but yeah. <laughs> so the argument or whatever, Gmo got to bring the olive branch. Yeah, he be over in 10 minutes. <laughs> nah, smart, smart. I need 24 hours. Hey, bro, smart man. Smart man. <laughs> like, baby, I miss you, baby. I mean, <laughs> so, so, if, if, so if argument go down, Gmo come back or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He do something sweet. And then you'll, he'll just win you back over and y'all get back to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stubborn, man. I'm stubborn, man. When you piss me off, it's over it. You guys seem like you have a lot of fun together. It seems yeah. like at the end of the day, y'all are friends. Yes. And I think that's, that's my amazing. best friend. No, that's, that's it's like my best come friend. Come on, man. Relationship goals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To the yeah. point. And I think that's important. Some, you know, your, your, your lady got to be, because your lady a lot of times will hold you down more than these niggas. Don't yeah. get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. If she real. If she real, she you feel always, always going to hold you down. You know, and your woman, if you, your woman should be your best friend and yeah. vice versa. You know what I mean? But, you know. We gonna we gonna God ain't God ain't done with all this. <laughs> we gonna we gonna keep on pursuing. But I, I like I like this 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 topic that we on because I think that people can relate. How what is the craziest night? <laughs> with the, this is an ugly money podcast. You can say what is the craziest night you two crazies have had together? <laughs> she, I'm gonna say one crazy. Okay, night. I wanna hear. This nigga hear. was eating popcorn and I was mad the fuck about some shit and I knocked the popcorn off the fucking bed. Woo, I knew I was through. I knew I was through. He was eating popcorn. He was eating popcorn. I knocked the whole glass on the floor. So what What got you so upset that he, he was eating popcorn? What did the popcorn Because he do? be he, him and his feelings. He want to talk shit. <laughs> and I'm ready to talk shit back. So he was talking shit with the popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> g <-Bop. laughs> You always over there bitching. <laughs> I ain't got time. I told you I ain't tired of that. <laughs> nah, that was the craziest moment though. We have a lot of crazy. We toxic, but we not like we don't fight each other, hit each other, nothing. Yeah. But we got them words. I yeah. throw some, he'll mm -hmm. throw some. We break some shit. Women know what to say to us. Yeah. A woman yeah. can make you feel eight feet tall and make you feel one inch short at the same time yeah. if you want to. But I don't never try to do that. You know what I'm saying? My mouth is very afflicted. Mm. Mouthpiece is sleek. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> most, I'm a real female most, trap gangster for yeah. real. So I be with that shit. Like I turn into nigga mode when they're trying to argue and shit. Like, so you, you kind of the fire. He seemed like he the ice. It might work. He can be. G Mo yeah. seemed cool, smooth, like. Yeah, baby. I'm, I'm cool baby, when I, I ain't had worried to be, about you know that. What I'm saying? Yeah. I'm cool when I had to be, you know what I'm saying? I turn up when I had to, yes, sir. to, the, to the max, you know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Yeah. So. She has a very strong personality. Give me some tips on dealing with a woman with a strong personality, because I need it. I mean, you got to be a strong man. You Come know what on. Saying? So if you ain't strong, she, a, a woman with a strong personality, she going to break you. She going to mm. eat you alive. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. So it ain't, it ain't shit ain't over really, it, it shouldn't. It should <laughs> never be like a, a a war of uh like who, you know what I'm saying, the biggest goat. You know what I'm right. saying? Okay. You know, I'm the biggest goat. Bad. You know what I'm saying? Trap. <laughs> like I said, uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, shit. You just gotta, you gotta know how to handle the woman. You gotta understand the woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a man. Yes, sir. Anything, yeah. So I think, I think it's a mixture. I think it's a, cause you can't be all hard on her all the time. You right. know what I'm saying? At the same you time, know, you gotta, you gotta know when you put your feet down. You yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, you gotta, you gotta have a, a certain level of, uh, you know, it, it, sometimes you gotta be, you gotta put your feet down. Sometimes, you know what? You might just let her, let her just let her. You know, just right. let her let her be he her. Get, he give me my little yeah. Let let me give her her space. Fast sometime when I need. Yeah, to or something, but I, yeah. We don't be listening to that I shit. Also we respect be him as a man too. So. <laughs> Not respect, respect. Yeah. You respect. Now, <clears throat> that is the thing with you being so independent. You know, you doing hair. You got your own business and everything like that. For you to be in a situation where you still respect and treat a man like a man. Where does that mentality come? Because a lot of women kind of, you know, sometimes have problems with that. Well, I'm going to be real. I grew up in an Islamic uh, Hebrew house. Mm -hmm. So in the Islamic uh, religion, men have multiple wives. Da, 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 da. So I grew up understanding. 
that you got to let a man be a man, respect him, honor him, treat him as your king. Mm. But, you know, also be a woman and not be a slave and not be quiet Facts. and speak your mind in a respectful, mannerful tone. So that's kind of how I was raised. So it kind of sometimes I had to bounce back and be like, OK, he 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 the man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He the head. So I got to just shut up, especially when. When he right or wrong, sometimes you just got to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You got to let a man be a man because at the end of the day, he a man. He supposed to lead you and have that image. And, you know, we as women sometimes can't tear them down. So, you know. Free game alert. (laughs) Free game alert. Free game alert. I I love that. It seems like it's balanced. Yeah. Because at at the end of the day, you are independent enough to do what you need to do as a Roman and as a boss in your own right. It's it's hard sometimes because I was raised to be independent. I'm the only child. I have nothing but boy cousins. Mm. So it's like they taught. I was raised by wolves and, and taught how to eat and get in these streets and get this and that. And you know what I'm saying? So at the same time, I just... Be letting him do his thing. Now that's 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 beautiful though. But the yeah. fact that you're strong enough to handle it on your own, yeah. But you're even stronger to allow yourself to be submissive as a man, yeah. Because that's strength too. Yeah, you know what it's I'm not easy. I, I can imagine. It's it probably it, it might be. It's probably harder than 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 actually being as strong as you are as a woman. Like to yeah. to 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 be submissive. Yeah. When you know that you can get a bag yourself, run it up yourself, do what you got to do. I think that's that. I think that's strength in itself because that that's 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 reserved. Yeah, because I'm aiming to be more than a girlfriend. Come on, you have Ooh, to sub, be submissive if you're trying to get to <sighs> the next level. So it's growing. I ain't there yet, but I'm getting there. She says I aiming to be more than a girlfriend, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> See the difference of the mentality. <laughs> difference of the mentality. What's it gonna take, Gmo? What's it gonna take? I'm not saying we 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 just talk. We just talk. I ain't putting no I mean, pressure on you, sir. I'm not putting no pressure part, on you. For the most part, you know, we already on that level. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I talked to her about it, you know. Mm. Like I said, uh, we kinda light minded as far as the hustle and the grind right, right now. So That's we first. wanna uh we wanna love a look, you know what I'm saying? And you know, like we already got love. So, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Just right. understanding, you know, where we at in life and what we want, you know, like that's one of our goals. Also on the list is to level up, and right. you know what I'm saying, yes, make sir. that happen. So, I think I think that's dope, man. How how do you guys? Because she is so, you know, professional. She, she you know she does so much, but at the end of the day, she a lady. Like, um, what I guess what I'm trying to say is like, how do you balance work? You know what I'm saying, like. Is there a time that you gotta pull it back, or is there a time that you know, like, hey, baby, I want, I still need to cook, you know? What I'm saying? And like, I is mean, there ever, you know what I mean? Like, you, you feel what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put it in words. Like, how do you balance the time that it requires for her to be an artist and for her to be a hairdresser, but at the same time, for her to be a woman? I mean, uh, most of. Uh, Everything we do is together. We do music together. That's exactly what I was dancing. You know I was what I'm saying? For. We got a hair shop in the hair shop. She do hair and clothes. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, it's like we never apart. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I manage her yeah. career in music, and you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? The manager of the, you know what I'm saying? The shop. So. Yes, sir. I, I think mean. it's. I, I think. I think that's a key. You know, sometimes you gotta. You gotta be a woman's cheerleader. You gotta yeah. be a. You gotta be. You know what I'm saying? You gotta right be there. involved. Yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. get in there with it because, especially if she's an entrepreneur. Uh, because at the end of the day, this is her dream. Yeah. And if you if you you can fuck around and phase yourself out of her dream if you want to, yeah. you're gonna phase yourself so, yeah. out of her life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these and these it, are our dreams. Yeah, facts. And, yeah. and it's the same vice versa. Right. But when y'all guys have a common goal and a common dream and working right. on one accord, right. psh, it's blast off. Free game alert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. For sure. Let's talk about um, you know, what what's what's to come, what's coming up, what can we expect, what's on the horizon. Well, yeah. Well, I got the it tour time, yeah. man. Yeah, tour this week. Trap to jump out this week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Night and we going up tonight. Come on, yeah. you know what I'm saying like nonstop motion. It's a whole lot of ugly money shit. It's ugly money, man. Don't get G Mo Shaw to Queen K. You know what I'm saying? Now, G Mo, you got a lot of records. We know that 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 Queen K featuring G Mo the Gold is the single for for Queen. I, I've been seeing her kill it. It, 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 it. Is is that your single, or are we going with something? What, what, what are we? What are we expecting from Gmo? For, for my, I mean, more so, you know what I'm saying, I tell you, right now, I'm more so focused on managing. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
queen, you know what I'm saying? She she wanted, like I said, one of my artists. I got other artists that I manage, but she is the premier artist that I'm, you know what I'm saying, focused on right now, other than myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm, I'm going to release some music. I got Drip coming up with uh, Sweet Face, mm -hmm. Lotto Drip, you know Shout what I'm saying? I did the Lotto Drip on the Verified ATL today, yes, so y'all be able to sample that, you know what I'm saying, run it up. Uh, and I got a feature with Lyric called Bag. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been, I've been featuring with a lot of artists that I feel like are talented. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Uh, building up YNWA as a brand and a, a management company. Um, working with bosses like yourself. Salute. You know? Uh, and just trying to, you know, make sure everything falls in line. Like, I'm a, I'm a manager more than an artist. So okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Be looking out for music, but be looking out for the ultimate come up. You know yes, sir. And I'm going to manage that. Now, there's one more question I got to ask before we get out of here, and it might get you in trouble, Gmo. Uh, hmm. What is... <laughs> he, he probably thinking like, what you about to ask <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, it ain't that bad. Because <laughs> if you don't go there, I ain't going there. All right, mm. cool. Uh, top five Alabama rappers of all time. Top five Alabama rappers of all time. You can use the whole state. Uh, I mean, if I'm going by stats, then... It's your top five. I mean, uh, Big Yavo. Come on. I got Lil Bam. I got feature with Lil Bam. Come on, Bam out right Bam. now. Uh, Cheat Code out That's right now. That's my guy. Uh, and, you know, they, they up on the stats right now. Okay. You got Honeycomb Brazy. Brazy, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And... I mean, even I had to. I really had to jump that off with Dobie. Okay, you know what I'm saying. If I'm just naming Alabama, we, we talking one one. Okay, cool. You know Dobie, long live. Um, that four right there. Yeah, yeah. and upcoming Queen K. There it is, sir. Trap. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You, you handled that very well, right. sir. You handled that very well, sir. Uh, one thing I can tell y'all, uh, what I can see in y'all is y'all are not afraid to take chances and bet on yourselves. Never. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I know from, from the conversations I've just had with Gmo, you got like four different businesses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like four different hustles. Talk about like mul the multiple streams of income and, and finding these different hustles. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how can we, because I'm trying to get folks game, you know what I'm saying, of how a man gets to the point of getting multiple streams of income. I mean, it's really like about your lifestyle. You know, like everything that I'm that I'm doing, I'm selling and stuff that I'm fans of, like clothes. You see me, I got the big drip, you know what I'm saying? Every time you see me, so I'm selling clothes, music, that's a part of my life, you know. Uh, before the music, I had a grass company, you know, I was mm. cutting grass. That was the first time my dad ever, ever taught me how to do yeah. cut grass. That's so, dope. You know, um, it really just, it's just based off of you. You got to evaluate yourself, like what you good at, whatever right. you good at, you just got to. Had the knowledge, had the skills to sell it, you know. That's dope. Well, man, shoot, if you can sell something, you can always got there, but right. you ain't never gonna be broke. Right, right, right. Now there's a video <clears throat> on your um Instagram that y'all just posted, and it mm. was uh, it seemed like y'all were having a great time. <laughs> y'all were having a great time. Oh, it was yeah. it was a shower, and it was Gmo with some money. It was a lot going. Okay, you know, big free. Yeah, <laughs> big free. What, what was that? I want to talk about the video because I just wanted some clarity. <laughs> and, and shot if we could get that video on the screen, uh, you know, say to show the people. So like, that's that looks fun. Talk yeah. to me about. Just talk to me about the vibes. Mm. <laughs> that yeah. was actually a music video. Oh, <laughs> it was actually a music video. That but was. I, but our sex life is literally like. Yeah, that. yeah. Like we like to reflect. If you yeah. if you listen to our music, like it reflect our like lifestyle, big hoe, big pimp. Like we done did uh, some shit, and I ain't ashamed to. I talk about it. My music, so we yeah, did before, it. Before we met, you know, what I'm saying, we, like I said, you know, shit, we was on some whole a whole nother lifestyle. So. Man, we we could shit, nigga, just speak on it. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> 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 no, you know, I, I love I love the freedom. Yeah. I love the transparency. I love the honesty, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause there's just so many people out here that be living a lie. Like you gotta be with somebody who gonna let you be you. Like I'm a freak, I'm a lesbian. I used to be a hoe, whatever you wanna label me, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit came with what I grew up, you know, my culture coming up, it, you know what I'm saying? When I jumped off the porch, I jumped off the porch. Yes, I was going through shit, you know what I'm saying? So it just changed. My childhood reflected of me being molested, so it reflected my life of just just using what I had to get what the fuck I wanted, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Dancing in clubs, stripping, had sugar daddies. 
And you know, when I was ready to change my life, it seemed like I met him when he was ready to change his life. Like we done oh, did this wow. shit. Now let's let's make money yeah, off. That, it. that the crazy yeah. part about everything. Yeah. Like she, like I said, I was pimping. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, hello. You know, what I'm saying the first yeah. one of all the niggas in Alabama that yes, sir. doing the thing. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely got that talk game. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga sell water to a whale, then. Yeah, you? man. You know, like I said, um, I mean, it was meant to be eventually going to be, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because I tell you all the time, like, we could have took a different route, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. It was really just, you know what I'm saying, all about the routes, you know what I'm saying, the the, the decisions you make, the choices, right. you know what I'm right. saying? Like, they're, they're really, like, what led us here, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, what, what gets you to the point, Queen, of finally making decision to change your life? I mean, you want to change while you in the process of doing what you're doing. Like, you, like people, like, I enjoy dancing because I love to twerk. If y'all pay attention to me, I'm a twerk. I bust out, I shake my head real quick. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying, just because I'm in a strip club dancing, making money don't mean I really want to do that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what paid my bills and got me what I want in the finer things. And I just wanted better, so I started using my hands to stop shaking my ass. And hmm. that worked out better. It was like my bag was bigger with hair than it was dancing. You know oh, wow. what I'm saying? Like, real shit. It, it's a difference. Like, I really see the difference. Like, I, my money come and go because I got so many things that's tied up into. Mm -hmm. But when I look at my, re my, my revenue from each year and think about when I was dancing, like, yeah, it's a bigger bag when you elevate. Like, that was just for then. Yes, but this is for now and to grow. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think uh, the fact that there's a no judgment zone of people's past is, is is amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we all got them. Hell yeah. Everybody you know what I'm saying? Right <laughs> we now. all got them. Everybody. But the fact that you can find a man that, that appreciates the good, the bad, and the ugly of of, of you is 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 rare. Yeah. And, and, and you know, it definitely should be respected. Yeah. So hats off to you, Gmo, because you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't find... And I think that's what we're all looking for is somebody that accepts the real us. Right. This is me, good, bad, ugly, you know, whatever. It is, this is me. Real and shit. if you can accept me for who I am, you know, the pros and the cons, then damn it, we, 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 can, we, can, we can work something out for life, yeah. you know what I mean? And uh, I, I can definitely see that with y'all. I, I love that. Like, yeah. that's, that's goals, right? That's relationship goals, man. That's relationship goals, you know what I mean? Because it's so many, so often people just be living a lie. I think that's why I think that's why um, I had never been married before because I, I was scared of living a lie. Yeah. I'm like I don't want to lie to yeah. you. I don't want to go. I don't want to take this girl up this damn aisle yeah. knowing if, I'm lying. If it, if it ain't real, man. Then, yeah. Like when you I'm know, you know. Day, like, yo. Yeah. That's dope, right? And rushing it ain't always good. You know what I'm saying? Like rushing it. Oh, okay. Like so you got it. Got to work its process. Yeah. It's it's. I'm cool with waiting. Because where I'm at right now, I want to wait. You know what I'm saying? See? So, yeah, we still got grown to do. You got to cook it up the right way. Right. got to cook it up. Right. Yeah, that video, y'all having fun, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just Living. like. Living. Yeah. <laughs> As you should. As you should. Because think of all the things that you've overcome. Man. Think of all the, all the, all the obstacles that you've had right, to hurdle. Right, right. Just to get to this point. Exactly. People got to live. Try things that you want to try. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, if you want to eat some pussy and do all that, do it. <laughs> You feel me? Don't wait because you might die tomorrow. And Free, like, game Free game alert. Free game alert. I'm just alert. being real. She popping. Free game she alert. preaching again. You should be in real. Live. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's how you keep a nigga happy. I tell you that, but that nigga ain't going to go too far. I got nothing. That's, see, that's why we all get to argue when this nigga come back. Chill. <laughs> like, baby, you know I need mean that shit. Now bring the bitch in here, goddamn it! You right. know I ain't got time for this shit. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, bitch. Like you shit. fucked the first one. I, I be sorry too, goddamn it! <laughs> <laughs> hey man, before we get out of here, please let these folks know where to follow y'all at, where they can catch some more of the drip, where they can catch that goat shit. Let them know where uh, everything, everywhere to get in tune with y'all. Well, y'all can follow me on IG at I am Queen K. Queen is spelled with a K. K U E E N. Queen with a K. So at, on Instagram at I am Queen K. On Facebook at I am Queen K. And on OnlyFans, uh, at Queen K. Oh, see, we ain't even talk about that. Trap. Damn. Yeah, I got an OnlyFans. Follow me, bitch. <laughs> Damn. See what I'm saying? Then y'all having fun, bro. I, I, I can only imagine. Gmo, you, you on? You goddamn right. <laughs> see, my videos break the internet. They Tell break you now. the. <laughs> Tell it now. Y'all been telling me, Queen K. Hey, look, look. All I can tell you to do is go, go check it out. Go see for yourself. Hey, G Mo, let them know where to follow you at, my brother. Yeah, yeah. You follow me, G M O underscore shout on IG. 
G Mo Shouter, G M O Shouter on all music platform, all media platform. And you can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N I C H E. Remember, the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast with G Mo Shouter and Queen K. Trans-